Sometimes all it takes is a little love for good barbecue to make the Hartford downtown scene take off. Along with inventive craft pizzas and Latin street food, Jamie McDonald's has established three restaurants downtown, including two in the newer Front Street District. The first thing people said when we first ever opened a place in Hartford was, why? Why are you gonna open in Hartford? You know, there's nothing in Hartford, there's nothing going on in Hartford. <laughs> and yeah, if you're short-sighted, but even in the last four years, well, we've been there about three and a half years, it's changed a lot. You know, there's a lot more people living down here, there's a lot more just foot traffic. In fact, I was just talking to somebody about this yesterday. I, I feel Hartford's right on the cusp. But about four years ago, we were looking for a spot downtown and um, we found this place on Art Street. And we knew that Yukon would be coming in. We knew that Front Street, that whole redevelopment area there. Um, and it's about corporate responsibility and community engagement and you supporting the community just as much as, as the community supports you. At the end of the day, it's making food. Mm. Um, but when we could use that for, like I said, you know, most of our hiring is either veterans or formerly incarcerated. So people, giving people a second chance and you know, when you, when, you, when you make that difference in somebody's life and you're not only affecting their life, they're affecting their family's lives, their neighbor's lives, it, it compounds. You know, six locations, 350 employees, you know, and last year we did 1.1 million pounds of barbecue, all because of Hartford. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's possible, you know, it just takes hard work and just do it. In speaking with Jamie, you can feel his dedication not only to his craft, but also to the people of Hartford. Two of his restaurants, Bears and the Blind Pig, have been instrumental in the growing popularity of the Front Street District, now home to the recent addition of Yukon Hartford. 